Every time I have reviewed a OnePlus phone, it always turns out the same. Great specs, but a flawed device in ways that keeps it from reaching superstar status. That pattern changes with the OnePlus Open, the company's first attempt at a foldable phone. The OnePlus Open should be a wake-up call for everyone. After spending nearly three weeks capturing portrait photos with the OnePlus Open's hassle that cameras and becoming acquainted with its open canvas multitasking, I have come to appreciate how it achieves so much for a first-generation foldable. For instance, it took Samsung effectively five tries to incorporate a gapless hinge design as it finally did with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The OnePlus Open does that in all fill soup. I don't want to spill all the beans yet on how much this foldable has left an impression on me, but as you will watch my OnePlus Open review, it's the dark horse I didn't expect to like so much. Sure, there are still areas where the Open could improve, but this first effort has closed the gap in such a substantial way for notebook-style foldable phones. Not only is the OnePlus Open a best foldable phone contender, but it's also one of the best phones released this year as well. Winning the specs department, the OnePlus Open outclasses its competition in both size and resolution. It features a main 7.82-inch Flexi Fluid AMOLED with 2K resolution and an outer 6.31-inch Super Fluid AMOLED. These are bigger and higher resolution than the displays found on the Pixel Fold and Z Fold 5, so it's a statement that backs up the Open's lower cost. Our display benchmark test reveals a peak brightness output of 1158 nits with the Open's main inner display, something I found visible using outdoors in my own experience. It's a tad short of the Z Fold 5's peak output of 1346 nits but much better than the Pixel Fold's 1000 nit brightness. At 721 nits, the outer display doesn't get as bright but it's well in line with the results from the Pixel Fold and Z Fold 5. Usually, AMOLED panels exhibit punchy color tones but the default natural color mode is too muted for my liking. That's why I switched the display to vivid mode so that colors popped a lot more on the screen. I loaded up the Super Mario Bros movies and it looked spectacular and its expensive 7.82 inch inner display. Ever since OnePlus partnered with Hasselblad to upgrade its cameras, the modules on the backs of its phones have gotten bigger and bigger. And while it's a bit of an eyesore, the Open's huge camera bump isn't without reason as it holds a large 1x1.43-inch 64MP Lightyear T808 main sensor from Sony with a new pixel architecture designed to increase the amount of light it can capture for even better nighttime photos. OnePlus claims it delivers the best image quality of any foldable available today. While I wouldn't go quite that far, its peaks are relatively close to what you can capture with a Pixel Fold. Photos are sharp and detailed. The one shortcoming is that OnePlus low light processing isn't quite as good as Google's night sight. But compared to the Z Fold 5, the Open's peak often had better dynamic range and less exaggerated sharpening. You also get a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera that can also shoot macros and a 64 megapixel telephoto with a 3x optical zoom that goes up to a 6x lossless magnification. Once again, while that 3x zoom is every bit a match for the Z Fold 5's 3x telephoto cam, its 6x lossless just isn't quite as sharp as the 5x optical lens on the Pixel Fold. But that's not a big surprise because there still isn't a true replacement for high quality glass.
OnePlus does more right than wrong with its fast foldable, which I have to admit, it's a satisfying package filled with surprises. Considering that this is the company's first attempt at a foldable phone, OnePlus hit the mark with a premium design that feels and looks more polished than the Pixel Fold and Galaxy Z Fold 5. There is no denying that OnePlus locked down a premium design, but I think it's even more important to stress how it perfected the multitasking experience with Open Canvas. Fundamentally, it is very similar to what Google and Samsung implements in its foldables, but the extra step of how the screen dynamically adopts to fit three apps simultaneously is impressive. The OnePlus Open is not without its shortcomings like the camera's weak low-light performance, but I think the combination of devices, lower price, long battery life, fast recharge time, and premium design makes up a lot of ground for it. On top of that, it also helps when OnePlus is offering its special US$200 trading credit for the life of the phone, which effectively keeps the cost at US$1500. There is no other notebook-style foldable phone that impressed me more this year than this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.